Hello Virgos, this is your reading for the upcoming week. This week is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Please show me the energy around my Virgos currently. What is the energy around my Virgos currently? The energy, okay. Eight of Pentacles there. Working your ass off. Working hard for the money. I do feel like you guys are also working on yourselves. And some of you are working on relationships. Rebuilding something here. Okay. That is your energy. Front and center. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. And I see the Two of Wands there. There's something that you definitely want to do. Um, but I feel like you're kind of hesitant about it. With that two of wands at Aries energy, there's something that you're hesitant about. You know which way you want to go. You know what you want to do, but mm, I need a little more time for that. What is challenging or crossing Virgos? Four of Swords. I feel like you guys are still healing and you need more time to think about what moves you want to make that's that labor energy you're really trying to um not jump the gun on something that's what you're doing some of you are needing to not just jump into something and take some time out to see if this is what you really want okay what is the underlying issue here for Virgo or the foundation? There was a card that wanted to come out there. Underlying issue here for Virgos. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are working really, really hard. I feel like you definitely want that committed relationship. But there is definitely signs that are cautioning you to not just jump head first into something okay you're being cautioned to take a minute and kind of evaluate your situation what you're actually doing who you're doing it with and if um if it's something that you should be doing okay what was going on in the recent past for Virgos? Recent past for Virgos. The Ten of Swords. Mm. You felt hurt. You felt like somebody stabbed you in the back. This is Gemini energy. You felt like this person did the ultimate um, betrayal towards you. They hurt you so badly. There are a lot of things. I feel like it's a lot of history here with someone. A lot of things that have been said. A lot of things that have been done. A lot of situations that you found yourself in with this person. I feel like at this moment, you're working to get past those things. And you feel like you're at a point where you know better now. That they can't pull anything over your eyes. That you know what you're doing. That's where you are right now. And I think you're working on yourself still. But um, the, I feel like there's a temptation here. I feel like Capricorn energy is here. Crowning thoughts for Virgos. Crowning thoughts for Virgos. Nine of Cups, you want to be happy. There's a part of you, I feel, that you kind of want to be single. But at the same time, you want to be in a commitment, in a committed relationship. I feel that what you're doing right now is making you happy. And I don't know if it has to do with you um, being in control of something, being in control of your own life, um, the things that you're doing, uh, taking pride in your work even, but um, you're happy. You feel like, you know, things are good. 
But don't forget that this is what's challenging you, this Four of Swords. This is taking a time out. Thinking about the things that truly disappointed you. And do you really know the truth here? This is the truth sword right here. This is the hurt that's still lingering over you. Okay. Kind of cuts as a Piscean energy, if I haven't said it already. What's coming in for Virgos? Knight of Swords. That air energy. I feel like there's somebody that's not letting you take a breath. Um, this person is talking to you. And they're telling you all of the things that they want, all of the things that I feel like you want to hear. Um, maybe it is feeding your ego a little bit, but there is definitely somebody here that is um, is not. I don't feel like they're giving you enough space for you to really evaluate, or either they will, because this is something that's coming in. Okay. It may have been coming in slowly up until now, but it's going to get more and more frequent, the communication, I feel. How is Virgo viewing their situation? How is Virgo viewing their situation? Eight of Swords. You still think about those things. You still think about those things that happen. And it does have you feeling kind of smothered sometimes and not able to completely let go of some of those things that disappointed and hurt you before. Because I feel like it was a multitude of things, not just one particular situation or one thing that they said. It was like several things that have happened um, between you. I feel like there is a history here. Gemini energy is strong. Okay, Pisces, Libra energy. Let's see. What is the influence here for Gem for Virgos? Hmm. Influence for Virgos. Seven of Pentacles. I think you've been waiting on um, something. You've been waiting to see a change in this person. Also, I feel like you've invested a lot of time in a situation that you don't want to give up on there's a lot of time that's been invested here and I feel like you guys have um, have been weighing things to see if you should let it go is there too much water under the bridge or you know should you give something another chance Taurus energy there hopes or fears for Virgo hopes or fears for Virgo Ten of Wands. Hmm. You don't want it to be like it was before. Because I feel like you guys were carrying all of the baggage, all of the weight um, <clears throat> of this relationship or connection between the two of you. You don't want things to be like they were. I feel like you want a new start. You want things to be totally different. You have three tens on this table right now. Tens are endings. There's a realization that you've come to. You want a new start. And you want it to be worthwhile. Okay. That Ace of Swords is your realization that comes after the Ten of Swords. That Ace of Wands is the Ace that comes after the Ten of Wands. You want a new start. And that Ace of Pentacles comes after the Ten of Pentacles. That's something worthwhile. Something that is is substantial, is stability. So I feel like you guys want this time around to be everything. To be everything. You want the the trust. You want the love. You want the commitment. You want the time. You want everything here. You don't want to carry all that by yourself because I feel like you guys have been doing that. This is Sagittarius energy. You want them to take some of this weight, some of the responsibility. What is the overall outcome here for Virgos? Overall outcome for Virgos. King of Swords. 
I feel like you guys are going to be in control of your happiness. I feel like when you need a break, you will take a break and you will let them know, hey, hold up. Okay? I think you will be more, um, more talkative, more opinionated if you didn't have an opinion or you, or you failed to, um, input your opinion before with this person. If you felt silence before, I don't feel like that's going to go on any longer. I feel like you guys are not wearing your heart on your sleeve and you're not going to allow somebody to get away with something if they got away with it before that shit's not happening anymore okay there is definitely somebody coming in for you this person does not um exude like happy feelings or they don't wear their heart on their sleeve they're not very emotional but they feel emotion trust okay if this person was wild at their mouth I feel like they're not going to be any longer. They're going to watch their mouth. They're going to watch their tongue. And they're going to watch their tone. Because I feel like a new Virgo is in town here. Okay? So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.